How's it going guys? It is me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week 8 of the Pokemon Premier League. Week 8 is the final week of the regular season and we are going into this game 4 and 3, I believe with a minus 1 kill differential, which currently is enough for us to get into playoffs. So as long as we perform okay, don't lose too heavily in this game or just obviously win, we guaranteed the playoff spot. It's a hard task though, because we are against Vepsis and the Helsinki Hydreigons, who is also 4 and 3 but has a much better kill differential of plus 6. So Vepsis is likely going to be in the playoffs regardless, unless I win 6 0 for whatever reason, and other results don't go his way. Um, now, this week I don't have a team breakdown for you uh, in the video because, quite frankly, I don't have enough time to get it done for this video but what I will do is I will include links to the pokey paste for my team and for Vexus' team in the description below if you would like to look into that a bit more um, and then yeah we'll get into the battle and see if we can clinch that playoff spot. Right we are here for week eight the final week of the normal season for season two of the PPL and I'm currently in the playoff spots, but that's because everyone else has played their games. So to qualify for either the playoff for the playoff, so like, uh, I think it's, what is it? 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th have to play off against each other to get into the top 8. Um, and then, or if I win, I think I might be able to make it into the automatic playoff spots, which means I get a week off, which is fantastic. But... Four and three, both me and Vepsis, that's who I'm playing the Hydra. Nope, the Helsinki Hydragons. I said Copenhagen something in the last video, that was wrong. It's the Helsinki Hydragons. Um, yeah, we're both in the same position. He's got a better KD than me, so if I get a big win here, I might be able to leap from him. Frog him. There's a lot of coaches on 4 4 <laughs> that have qualified for playoffs, so if I win, I just, I'll do well. So let's just search because um, I'll let him know that I'm now searching. Let's go for the, uh, I don't know what music we're going to go for. Let's try and get the Petron theme, because I really like that Petron theme. Um, yeah, this matchup, I feel like defensively I'm okay. Um, there's some things on his team that I'm worrying about, mainly the, um, the what's it called? what's called now he's got the iron valiant that's the one iron valiant and also a load of muck is also terrifying as well um let's see if epsis is actually going to search because i told him i'd let him know when i was he said he was ready to okay there he is right what's he got potentially the final game of the season um i haven't ever really come across epsis much before but i know he is right he's got a haxorus He's got the Muck, which is to be expected. He's got Treads, Iron Valiant. He did bring the Colossal, which I thought might come, and that is his Terramon, and then Gliscor. So off the bat, Kyurem looks absolutely incredible um, for this game. I am Scarfed, so once Colossal goes down, or if it's Terra Water, then freeze dry goes ham. And I am modest because there wasn't really anything I needed to be timid for. Because everything else without speed move a scarf anyway that I expect could be scarf. Um, he has got hazard removal. Spikes do a lot to his team. He has only got Gliscor that is immune. So I could lead the Gastrodon. He might lead Treads. Um, he could also lead the, uh, what's it called? Haxorus. Um, I feel like Gardevoir is a safe lead. Ish. Safe ish lead. Um, so we'll go with that. I am defensive. It is like a valiant check as such. Um, but it does well against his whole team, other than the muck and the treads. I'm annoyed that I don't have um, body press on Corviknight. Because that would have been nice to have, but good luck, have fun, Vepsis. Just don't body me, please. 
Was me leading guard for our mistake? Who knows? Um, good luck, have fun. Maybe for the final time this season. Um, right, so he's going to lead off with Sauna, which is the Colossal. Okay, I don't mind this at all. I am AB. I'm also physically defensive. I'm all right. So he's flame body. He's not the water compaction. So I could knock off here. He might click his rocks. His terror typings were. What is terrors on this? He's got. Where is he? He's over here on the sheet. So it's rock, fairy, or water. So if he um, decides to terror, that's fine. I might just click the knock here and see what happens. He does terror. What's he going to terror? That's interesting though, because that means he doesn't resist my fairy stab anymore. And this is a big. He is fairy himself. Okay. I guess this thing is a bit of an issue um, to me, like outside of Castro. I'm going to click knock off, get rid of this thing's item. Um, get rid of some, you know, leftovers. That's nice. Does he flame body me? No. He sets up spikes. Which is fine, um, because I have got Defog on the Corviknight. I'm just going to click Moonblast. I have got Draining Kiss as well. Like Moonblast is really free against this team, unless he wants to go into Treads. But he does have to run the risk of me um, clicking Aura Sphere. He is a Fairy type, so that, that doesn't matter too much. I could have clicked the Knock there, predicting, but there's no lefties in that thing, so it's on a time now. Forbidden which is the Discord. Cool. If I'd have clicked double knock there, that would have been huge. Okay, is this being Spadef? Is this being Spadef? Maybe. Um, what does he click here? Like, does he click knock off me? Um, does he knock off me here? I could also set on my own spikes. Um, Will he click Toxic? I doubt it because I could trace Poison Heal later on. I feel like Gastrodon is my switch every time. So I'm going to click Gastrodon here. Um, and I could threaten him out with the Ice Beam as well. So that's not too bad. I don't see there's much point in me clicking. Um, there's no much. There's not much point in me clicking Spikes myself here. Okay, so he just clicked the Earthquake. That does good damage. Um, what's he going to switch into here? He might fear the Ice Beam. He'll see that I'm not Leftovers, because I am the Rindo Berry. Um, so I could Chilling Water. He's going to potentially click something that is going to... I, I think Muck is a switch in him. Um, chilling Water could be quite nice as a mid-ground. So he clicks U-Turn. That does a lot. Um, so I need to try and bring this thing in on the Colossal to recover, I think here. Chilling Water gives me a nice mid-ground. So he goes Durin. What is this? Is this the Muck? Haxorus. Okay. Um, he's Unnerve. Ooh, okay. So no more break now. The Chilling Water is going to lower his attack, which is nice. Um, I'm going to swap out straight into Corviknight. Corviknight is my play. Um, <clears throat> he might click SD or something, which would be terrifying. If he clicks DD here, then I don't know what he can really do to Corviknight uh, damage-wise, because obviously I resist. Uh, I imagine I'll have Earthquake for the... Uh, what's his face? He'll have Earthquake. Info. That'd be a free switch in there, which is interesting. This SD. Ooh, that's terrifying. So he's not a Scarf, which means Kieran can come in and revenge kill. Um, do I get the slow U turn off? I'm gonna go slow U turn. He takes SD again. Whoa. Okay. So I'm gonna go into my. QRM, and I'm just going to click uh, the Ice Beam button. He hasn't got a switch into uh, QRM now. I'm going to reveal that I'm Scarfed early on. 
Um, I'm modest. He has not got an ice beam switch in. So I'm just going to click ice beam. Just click an ice beam. Don't have to think about it. Something will take a lot of damage. He swaps out. It's going to be the muck that I think comes in here. Could be the colossal. It's the colossal. Okay. So is this spadec? He thinks I'm clicking a fairy moon, potentially. Um, that does good damage. He's got no way of recovering. Do I want to stay in against this thing? Um, Kyurem. Let's say you are Colossal. Um, how much did Ice Beam do? 27 to... Oh wait, you're a Fairy type now, aren't you? You are Fairy. Fairy. Right, so Ice Beam did not do 41 to 49. So you're Spadef. I don't think you have any... Okay, so I don't think you're offensive in any way. So I tank, I chew a power gem. Um, you're not Meteor Beam, so I'm just going to stay in a quick Ice Beam. The sooner this thing goes, the better. Saying that, this is my... Um, I did say I was going to do what it does. That's good damage, but we'll take the Ice Beam KO here. Not even going to think, not even going to think about it, but I need to keep Kyurem relatively healthy. Because um, obviously the Haxorus needs to... Um, Haxorus is going to be a problem. So let's go. Uh, Colossal is Norton one. Norton. Um, and that is a kill for Dino Dave. So even if I lose this game, it's not a 6 0, and Dino Dave did get a kill, which is fantastic. Um, he might think I'm Specs. He might. He might not know I'm Modest. So I'm either Modest Scarf or like Timid Specs to him, I imagine, at this point. Um, was that a mistake? Maybe. I think. Okay, he goes. Iron Treads. How much do I do to a Treads? Um, let's say a special defensive. Uh, Ice Beam does 37 to 44. So. I don't think. Too much of an issue for me. Um, I could go back into this thing and click defog or get a slow U turn off. One spike isn't the end of the world. I haven't got boots. Um, is he going to click Volt Switch? He does click Volt Switch, so gas is nice. Um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to go Valiant? I really need to keep Guard Wire healthy now, because Gastrodon's gone low, I really need to keep Guard Wire healthy. Because that thing's going to really help against the Valiant at this point. So what's he got left to actually take this on? Gliscor, Valiant, Treads, and Muppet Packs. So, like, I'm slower than this, so I get a slow U-turn. Does he click Agility? Agility on this might be terrifying. See, agility. No, he's got a U turn. Like, that doesn't make much sense because then he can't touch me. Um, I'm going to default. It's torn. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Because I kind of get another free switch into. Um, so you can't stop me defogging, that's fine. It's another turn of leftovers. What would your final move be? Acrobatics, but then he can't touch Corviknight. So, I'm going to U-turn out. Sets up his rocks. Okay. Sets up his rocks. So I need to get this thing in somehow. To actually... So it's U-turn, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks, Torn. Could I go into U at this point and just start clicking buttons? How much will Sea Flare do? To. Yeah. I need to keep. I think Kyurem lives one more switch in while I have the hazards up. So let's go into. Um, Gliscor. Gliscor can't touch me. Now, there's no reason for me not to. Terra. No, am I Terra Electric or Terra Grass? Did I stick with Grass? Did I stick with Electric? I stuck with Grass. There's no reason for me not to click Sea Flare. 
or Terra Brass at least. Um, does he hard switch or does he go into Muck afterwards? Because I think if I go Muck, that's how I get my default off. So I kind of want to draw the Muck out here. Um, I don't mind getting knocked off. So I think, how much does it do if it's not for death? Seed Flare does 50, uh, 58 to 68% here if he's not for death. So, I'm going to click the Seed Flare. He stays in. Okay, I'll take the slow U turn. Um, this could be nice. I really thought he would hard switch into the muck because. Um, If I got the Spadef drop there as well, then that would do loads of damage. Let's put the Seed Flare. It does a, a lot. I think he might be mixed. He, oh, get the Spadef drop. So if he just swapped into that Muck, he U turns. So he's going into Muck. Um, I can get a U turn off. I can get a. Um, what's his face off? But that's good for me for my Moth. If I can get some boosts going, then I think Moth might be okay late game with that kind of damage on the score um i don't think you're max for death are you he could be no he can't be seed flare if he's max for death max hp it would have been 47 percent i'm not terror that's why so he could be for death I, mean, I could have got a low roll Right, let's go hard into Corv. Hard Corv, this is my default opportunity. Um, you might predict that. If he knocks off, that's fine. That's no no worry to me. Um, he is wearing down my offense quite quickly though. So I can pressure, is he gonna double? He doubles. Is he going guy score here? Okay, that's fine. I'm clicking default. He wants to um, SD here, that's not a problem. So I'm clicking default. Unless this is torn, it's, like, it's not. So he swords can't that's fine. So I think we're back in the position again where I can get a slow U turn. Dino Dave comes in, I click Ice Beam, something dies. That's where I am with this. Unless he's got Trailblaze, if he has Trailblaze, then I have to go into Moth and hope that I can just kill this thing. So let's U-turn. He might CC. Yeah, he CCs. Okay. That does so much damage. What the hell, man? Oh, cool. Knight's dead. Okay. Well, it's not dead. Okay, so U-turn. I mean, I don't think Corv Knight's as important at this point. Um... So I could go Shaman. What's more important to me at this point? Is it Dino Dave? Let's go Dave. Ice Beam, two shots, everything I think, other than the Mark. So I'm just gonna have to keep a sack. Uh, he's minus one. Here in. The thing is, if I lock myself into Earth Power, Glyscore comes in and then sets up rocks again. Uh, Haxorus. Click Ice Beam. He lets this go. Okay, interesting. He lets it go. So I don't think Kieran's as important now. Haxorus is down. Now, if he, he could bring in Valiant here, if he's Booster. He goes Freds. Iron Freds. Um, I think Gastrodon might be the play here. Because if he clicks... Uh, what's it called? Why is he not going Muck? 
I don't get why he's not going muck against. I mean, he's keeping muck for the Volk. But I don't think it can do anything to my Volk. Like, offensively, because I am booster, so knockoff won't hurt too much. Hiram is still useful. Hiram is putting in work. Um, that's heavy slime. That kills. How fat is this thing? Okay. Um, do I want to? Oh, this is this is a problem now. This is a this is a problem. This thing is a problem. I've just realised. If he's scarfed, this thing is a problem. Let's see here. I'm gonna bluff the scarf again. I'm bluffing the double scarf. I love the double scarf. Me. Um, he could go straight into the what's it called? We go into the muck. Who goes low score? Oh, I'm bluffing. I've bluffed my way through a lot of these games this season. Um, C flare. If as long as I don't miss, it does good damage to anything. He hasn't really got switching, so he might just sap this off. Oh, yeah, there's a drone. Okay. Um. Do I? I I sacked that for no reason whatsoever. So Gastro is dead. So no no hazards for me, which is sad because um I think I need to go into moth and just booster energy things now. Is he Ockerberry? Maybe, but then that's where I'm just gonna have to go Kyurem and nuke it afterwards. So I have speed. Is there a world where he lives a fiery dance? I don't know. He should go muck here. He should just go straight muck. If he's scarfed into heavy slam, that's fine. It shouldn't kill me. I should be calping. Oh man, this iron treads is a problem. I didn't really like think that uh, Gastrodon would take so much from a heavy slam. How heavy is this thing? Um, but I do outspeed this thing if he's scarfed. I just have no way of telling if this is scarfed unless it's faster than my Kira, which is uh, sad. So he ha he can't really swap into Fiery Dance. That's also another problem he has. Because um, Colossal and Haxorus are gone. Valiant won't want to take it. He's got Muck. Muck is his only play, but if I can get some special attack boosts, he goes into Valiant. And he's booster. If I'd have clicked Sludge Wave, Crit. He's boost to speed. What can this thing do? What does this thing do to me? Um, you are called Iron. What are you called? Not Iron. Yeah, you are Iron. You're Iron Valiant. Psyshock doesn't kill me. And if he's Psychic... Destiny Bonds! That's a, that's a, that's a big play. <laughs> that's a big play. Fair play, fair play. Um, I wouldn't have expected that. I could have gone into Gardevoir then as well. Um, okay. Slightly concerning. Um, all he has to do now is Heavy Slam Choice Scarf. Um, I think he might just win. If, if he's Scarfed, he wins. If he's not Scarfed, then I have a chance that Kira might be able to pull it back. Um, so Valiant goes down with a kill. A moth. A moth dies. Um, so, yeah, I think Iron Tread just wins. I don't have. I think I've got to go this. I've got to go this. He goes Freds. Will a heavy slam kill me? That's that's the thing. Will a heavy slam kill me? I've got to click Roost. I've got to click Roost. 
his iron head. Oh, okay. Do I? Does my Gardevoir live? An iron treads. Iron head. So I live an iron head, if he's scarfed. Aura Sphere does a 62 to 73. I can't click knock, because it doesn't do enough. And I can't lock myself into earth power. So I, I, I lose, because I just have to hope he's not scarfed. And click Aura Sphere. That's all I can do. Let's hope he's not Scarf Treads. If he's not Scarf Treads and he's bluffed it, then... Is that a crit? Is he banned? Is he banned it? Right, Ice Beam Freeze! Let's do this! I, I can't win because Muck's, Muck's at full health, so I can't I can't win. So that's a good game to Vepsis, to be fair. Um, probably should have brought Urshifu over the Shaman. Um, and that's what I had initially. I can't Earth Power, so I'm going to have to go for Ice Beam and just freeze everything. He's not Scarf. Freeze? No freeze. Away. Okay, good game. Um, I'm not too salty about that. I don't know what this does to my playoff hopes. I think I might be out because of the Frio. All I needed was um, something better than a Frio. And I threw away Shaman. I should have calced. I rushed it and didn't calc, so that's uh, annoying. But it was quite a close game. It was quite a close game, to be fair. What I should have done there was go into QRM. And I don't actually know if Earth Power would have killed. Earth Power was, it had a chance to kill. Because Ice Beam certainly did enough to the point where it was offensive. Like, so I think Earth Power could have killed. Um, so, oh, the software closed because of an error. Brilliant. Um, at least it closed after the game. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if I'm completely honest with you, I don't know if I'm in the playoffs, so you may hear from me again next week. You may not hear from me again next week. Uh, but if you don't, it's been a great season, and I'll do like a season roundup at some point. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you whenever. Bye. So here we are at the end of the video, and unfortunately, the Frio loss against the Helsinki High Dragons does mean that we miss out on the playoffs spot by a single kill deferent. Differential? Differential. Um, unfortunately, the cutoff limit was minus three in the end. 4-4 four, four record, minus three. And I finished the season on 4-4, four, four, minus four. So definitely caught up in two minds. I'm so upset that I was so close to it and just didn't quite make it. But at the other, the other end of the spectrum, I'm quite happy that I'm done. I've had a lot of personal stuff go on this season. And I feel like the team was fun to start with but every time I kind of built for another team I kind of thought maybe it wasn't the greatest team out in the, in, in the league this season. I don't think it was the worst by far but I don't think it was the best either. Um, but I had a good time back. It's the first season I've had back in draft since and to almost make it into playoffs like I did. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself so time to take a break and see if I can kind of recuperate ready for season three whenever that will be in the future. So thank you for coming along with me on this journey this season. I will try and do like a season summary video um for i guess when all the other coaches who are in the playoffs will upload their playoff games um so keep an eye out for that but like i said thank you for the support this season make sure you subscribe because i'm definitely gonna be back for season three so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye